What's up guys? I'm Big Worm 380 and we're going to go over some PUBG news. If you got on PUBG on Xbox One yesterday, you might have noticed there was an update. So we're going to look at the patch notes and see what they did. Uh, it wasn't a huge deal, but uh, they didn't add really anything. It was more performance stuff. But you'll you'll see uh, after what they put in the patch notes, this is a, a, a benefit of having the test server. So let's take a look at them. It says, hi folks, we recently verified some optimization and performance improvements on the recently launched, we recently launched on the test server. Now we're ready to bring these over to the live server. Patch was yesterday, May 2nd. Uh, patch content. These optimizations and performance improvements have been proven effective on the PUBG test server, so we're bringing them over to, over, bringing them over to live servers now. Uh, Free-for-all and parachuting process has been optimized, leading to performance improvements during the initial stages of each game. So that'll help with the, you know, the lag and whatnot um, uh, at the very beginning when everybody's parachuting in. World loading has been optimized. Play-Doh and interior prop pop-in effects have been improved. So hopefully, uh, if any of you guys have the, the Xbox One, the original Xbox One or the Xbox One S, let me know if you notice any difference after this number 13 update um my buddy roy and i played last night but um he got an xbox one x so he's not having the play-doh issues that he was having before and i was kind of using him to, you know to verify for me uh it says movement data for nearby but out of sight players is now handled in a more efficient manner resulting in general performance improvements Similarly, when nearby but out of sight players equip or unequip items, this process is handled in a bit more efficient manner. This helps with performance and crashes throughout the game. I had no idea that was an issue, um, but, you know, I don't make games either. I just play them. The inventory has been optimized, improving response time when opening it and solving some crashing issues. I did hear before about people complaining um in forums that when they would access their inventory it would sometimes cause a crash but i thought they fixed that maybe there was something else they found or whatever and and put it in this update uh uninhabited boats and vehicles were causing some performance issues and we're resolved we've resolved this issue so like i said it wasn't a whole lot going into this update uh but it was a uh, uh something unexpected kind of because they they found all this stuff that they had on the miramar map for the test server and it worked good so they went ahead and, and brought it over so that's just another benefit of having a test server um it, it's paying dividends we get to we got to play miramar and we should be able to play it i would assume at least one more time before it launches or goes live but um you know now we're getting the benefits of it on on erangel too so that's good there is a known issue after long play sessions, three or more hours on the standard Xbox One or the Xbox One S, the game sometimes crashes. This has been a problem for some time, and we hope to solve it soon. In the meantime, there's a simple workaround you can use. Simply restart the app every couple of hours if you plan on playing a longer play session. So, you know, that's what you got to do, I guess. Um... Soon we'll announce this test server news. Soon we'll, soon we'll announce more details about our plans for additional testing on Xbox test servers. Stay tuned. So, are we going to play Miramar again? Are we going to get, uh, you know, are they going to have maybe Miramar and Erangale or Erangale with some of the stuff from the recent PC test server? Because I hope that's what it's going to be. Uh, I, I'm sure they're going to be ironing out. It's going to be Miramar for sure before they you know launch go live with that but uh i gotta tell you you guys gotta see this uh i'm gonna go ahead and bring it up check this out okay so this is the this is the pc patch update number 12 and this is a huge update okay um they added some things that it said added uh this is after the fact after they came out with the test server i believe and this is the live patch that I guess they already went live with it. I haven't been on the PC, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, look at all the, they balance weapons, okay? Uh, all the pistols got a, got a damage buff. All the ARs, it, well, the AKM and the Groza stayed the same. But the, the rest of the AR platform weapons, they all went down by one point. Now, I don't know what this one point relates to as far as like damage dealt. Um... I don't, I don't know if it does 43 damage. Is that what it is? I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's a slight slight nerf on the ARs. Now, all the pistols got a buff. Some a most of the ARs got a, a nerf. And shotguns, uh, the regular 
the it's the double barrel shotgun and the pump shotgun they got a slight nerf one point less sawed off and the sk-12 stayed the same now the dmr is a designated marksman rifles your sks vss mk-14 uh slr which is a new one that they added um in the test server and the mini 14 they uh the sks went down four points the vss went up one mk-14 went up none it stayed the same uh the slr is new so it didn't have its 58 and the mini 14 went up one uh lmgs uh they went up slightly in damage also so uh smg is the smgs that was the LMGs. SMGs, uh, they all went up except for the Tommy gun. It stayed the same at 40. So that's your that's your weapon balancing. They're they're going they're they're doing this to try to make um well it says right here. Uh rebalanced AR, so none is the objective best. The power differential between each is now reduced, but each brings advantages to different situations. Basically, they're trying to make the other weapons more viable, which is what a weapon balance is always about. Because it gets to where people use the same weapons all the time and nothing else. And so, you know. Um, but yeah, this just goes over all the uh, all the different stuff. I'm not going to go through every single one of these. It's a ton of information. If you just go to uh, playbattlegrounds.com, go to the forums, and then the PC patch notes, you can read through all this. Um, they did increase the frag grenade weight. I thought that was interesting. Uh, they increased the weight of the frag grenades from 12 to 18. And then they decrease the Molotov smoke and stun grenades. Um, so, you know, you can carry more of those or whatever. Uh, frag grenades, you may not carry as many. Uh, character movement. Uh, slightly decrease the movement speed while, hold, while holding sniper rif rifles, LMGs, and shotguns. Uh, let's see, what else? I'm, just, I'm not going to read all this. I'm just trying to go through and pick out, you know, what I thought... Um, Level 3 helmets now only spawn in care packages. So no more level 3 helmets on the map. you you got to get a, a drop crate from the airplane. And there's one guaranteed to be in every pa care, care package. Uh, let's see. Both SR quick draw magazines and SR extended quick draw magazines now spawn only in care packages. We've reduced the spawn rate for AR extended quick draw magazines. DMRs now use AR attachments, magazines, compensators. So that's kind of nice. You, you, with the with the sniper rifles and stuff, you lose the quick draw and extended magazines, but then you 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 get to pick up uh, AR you know stuff that the attachments you can put on there. So it's kind of a trade off. Adrenaline syringes now spawn rarely alongside normal loot in the world, so you don't have to get a uh, a drop crate to get a s adrenaline syringe. Uh, they adjusted the casting time of adrenaline adrenaline syringe from eight seconds to six seconds. So I'm assuming that the casting time that means how long it takes to use it. So this is the SLR. Uh, the SLR will be spawned alongside normal world loot. It's a DMR which uses 762 ammo, contains 10 bullets per magazine, 20 bullets when extended. The SLR is more powerful than the SKS, but has more recoil. So recoil control is the key to using the SLR effectively. Haven't haven't used it yet. Uh, didn't find that. I did get on. I did get on the test server the other day, and uh, this was what I really like. Well, they have the the uh, Murado, which is a muscle car. This is uh, you've got you've got your buggy that is good for you know pretty much the ter rough terrain and stuff. Uh, it's one of the better ones to ride around, or motorcycles if you can control them. Um, but if you're going down the freeway and you want to haul ass, this this car right here is made to to haul ass down the freeway. You're going to be on the roads. I wouldn't take this thing off-road too much, though. Uh, the new attachments. This is what I like. Uh, I found almost all of these. Actually, I found all of these. Um, the duckbill attachment for shotguns, it spreads out in a horizontal line the pattern. Uh, and reduce, It reduces the vertical pellet spread but increases horizontal bullet spread. Uh, light grip reduces recoil uh, recovery time, but increases vertical and horizontal recoil. That's for ARs, SMGs, and DMRs. Thumb grip, it reduces vertical recoil, but increases horizontal recoil. It also increases the recoil recovery time. And that's the same guns for that. Half grip, another attachment for ARs, SMGs, and DMRs. It reduces vertical and horizontal recoil and reduces recoil recovery time. If I remember correctly, it was... 
I think the thumb grip was the one that I saw Shroud on his Twitch stream, and I think the thumb grip was the one that him and whoever was playing with, they decided that was probably the best out of the, the three of these. Now you've got the uh, three times scope. This has fixed magnification. Uh, so in, in addition to the two times, you have a three times. Now, I don't know if they did away with the four times or what, because I found a three and a six. And when I found the six, the six is variable. It, it You can change the magnification from three times to six times. So if you find one of these, you don't need to worry about finding a four times. If you know, because I like four times scopes. Uh, now you can change the reticle style and color on the red dot hollow sight and two times scope using the scope zeroing keys. All right. And that's pretty much it. Boat sink now when destroyed. Um, made some adjustments the way swimming works. Basically, you can't hold your breath 35 seconds anymore. You can only do 15. Once you run out of air, you'll take 10 damage uh, per second up from 4 damage per second. And they've increased the delay for breath recovery time from one to four seconds. In other words, when you lift your head out of the water, it'll take four seconds before you be begin to recover. So the water is not going to be a very good place to be. And then, of course, they talked about the, uh, I talked about this in one of my other videos. This is, this is a picture of the uh, map selection. So you can pick, you know, uh, both maps right now, because Savage Map isn't out yet, uh, but you can pick Arangale and Miramar. Uh, those are both on by default, or you can uncheck either one and just play that with the other map. So, uh, it's pretty nice. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to go over on this big-ass post, or big-ass uh, update. It's, uh, it's a huge update. They did a lot of stuff, and I think a lot of it is pretty cool, pretty good. The new car, new new gun, and and the attachments. I really like that, that three, that six-time scope. It's you know, magnify, you can adjust it from three times to six times. That's going to be useful, I think. So anyway, guys, this is the huge uh, PC update that's out. And uh, so hopefully something like this is going to be coming pretty soon to Xbox uh, with the test server and everything else. I don't see why they couldn't put some of this or most of this on the te Xbox test server. But they're probably, you know, working on getting Miramar straightened out first of all, and then we'll we'll see all this later after that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, this is Xbox patch number 13 for PUBG. Hopefully we get our next update, you know, again pretty soon. And uh, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.